Hi, welcome to this presentation. This is Paul Frew from Oton Engineering Services. And our support teacher today is Adam Barton, who will be taking, showing some information here on the chat pod on the left hand side. And this pres presentation is actually to prepare your mathematics for study at O10. And this one is about using the calculator and how to use brackets. Now if you want to send us some information or request anything or ask us questions, you can email us at o10.engineering at tafenewsouthwales.edu.au or you can phone us on 02 97158469 or you can follow us on Facebook, O10 Electro Technology or follow us on Twitter, O10 Electrical. Now before we get into this presentation, um, both myself and Adam are from the electrical department, we call ourselves Engineering Services. Uh, I'm a trades teacher and Adam is an engineering teacher. And just my other background, I'm not the best mathematician in the world, but I'm here to try and show you to prepare your mathematics in the electro technology industry, but also if you're doing any other study in O10. This presentation is actually going to show you how to use the brackets on the calculator. Now the calculators that we're going to be using in this presentation is a scientific calculator which is the Casio FX82AU Plus and some of you may have this older uh, version of the Casio which is an FX82MS. So let's start off with the first question here. We've got 4 plus 2 divided by 1 plus 3. So just to revise what that line there means, we've got 4 plus 2 actually means divided by. So 4 plus 2 divided by 1 plus 3. Now is it 19 or is it 4? Let's type this into your calculator. So if you're watching this presentation, you can get your calculator and put these values in. So 4 plus 12 divided by 1 plus 3 equals, and you should get the answer in your calculator to be 19. So let's have a look at what actually happened on your calculator. So first thing went 4 plus 12 and 4 plus 12 equals 16. So that's that part there. So the calculator's worked it out there. Now we divide by 1. So 16 divided by 16 gives you 1. And then we say 16, sorry, plus 3 gives you 19. So that's what the calculator's worked out there. So 4 plus 12 divided by 1 plus 3 gives you 19. As far as the calculator is concerned, we're going to show you some problems, what's actually happened there. And, and you can see how Adam's putting some information here on the side about bod mass and why, how the calculator actually works. Okay, so let's start again. And before we actually type this into our calculator, let's, let's actually guesstimate approximately what value we should get in our calculator. So 4 plus 12 gives you 16. 1 plus 3 gives you 4. So let's just remove the 4 plus 12 and replace it with the 16 and the bottom part before. So hopefully with our basic mathematics, we know that 4 goes into 16 four times. So that's what we should be seeing on our calculator. But we saw before that we had 19. Again, the calculator is only just working out what you've put in there for it. So let's show you what, why we need the brackets. So let's start again. So we now need to use the brackets. And we'll show you where those brackets are on your calculator. So here's these brackets here with the left hand bracket. Now if you just watch the calculator, I'll just put a circle around it there or square. And now what we'll show you this other brackets, the right hand brackets. Just watch the calculator and that's the button there on your calculator. Okay, so let's start again. This time we're going to use the brackets. So type the bracket there and use the left hand key there. And we say 4 plus 12. 
put the right hand bracket in. Just watch the calculator. That's the button we press in there. Now we know 4 plus 12 gives us 16. And that's what we've worked out there. We now say divided by Now we do the brackets, the left hand bracket, then 1 plus 3, close the brackets, and we hit equals. Now the calculator, if you look at the information that Adam has actually put up on the screen there, this is what the calculator has actually done now. So we've got the 16 divided by 4. And you should now turn your calculator 4. So look at that fraction, 4 plus 12 divided by 1 plus 3 gives you 4. Now before we move on, you can actually pause this recording and go back at any time to check your, your progress. Okay, here's a new question. We have 22.8 minus 13.2 divided by 0.4 or 0.4. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll have a, a guesstimate. So we'll actually round up the 22.8 up to 23 and we'll round down the 13.2 down to 13. So we have 23 minus 13 gives us 10. Now just look at the point 4, I'm just going to take you through some basic mathematics or maybe just some revision for you. We know as a fraction 1 divided by 4, which is a quarter, expresses a decimal is 0.25. That means that 10 divided by 4, or 4, how many times does 4 go into 10 actually goes 2.5 times. Now can you see we've moved the decimal point now one place to the right. And now finally, we're now going to be working at 10 divided by 0.4, which means that we should be looking at an answer around 25 on our calculator. So at least we have a guesstimate. So when we type this into our calculator, we should get that value or close to that. So let's start typing the information. So we have 22.8 minus 13.2 divided by 0.4. Now just remember, look at the information that Adam has put on the left hand side here just to show you how the calculator will take this information. So let's start off. So we got 22.8 minus 13.2 So we put that into our calculators already, divided by 0.4 equals, and we're hoping to get an answer around 25, and we get minus 10.2. So I guess the question is what's happened here. So let's, again, look at the information that Adam's put there to hopefully give you a clue. I was going to show you now, if we, if we type this information in first, we'll show you how the calculator actually worked it out for you. So if we actually type in 13.2, so you do this on yourself on your calculator, divide by 0.4, and see if you can get that answer before I press the next button. So 13.2 divided by 0.4 gives you 33. So we now move on, we've got 22.8. So we now go back to the start, 22.8 minus what the calculator worked out before, which was 33, equals, and you may now see how we got the minus 10.2 and not the approximate 25 that we're after. So now we need to show you how to type this into your calculator and why we need the brackets. So let's start again. This time we're putting the brackets around the information. So we start away with the left hand bracket and just look at the calculator there, that's the, that's the button we're pressing. We have 22.8 minus 13.2. We close the brackets and now just watch the calculator. That's the button you're going to press. We now go divided by with the brackets 0.4. Now you could put 0 0.4, but 0 0.4 is, is satisfactory for this here. We now have the closed brackets equals, and hopefully we'll get the answer that we guesstimated before, which works out to be 
24. Okay, so we've seen there what happens when we don't use brackets and we see why we need to use the brackets and why we need to guesstimate. So there's the answer there. Just another way to do it, 22.8 minus 13.2. So we'll get you to try this. If you now hit the equal sign right now, the calculator will stop there and work out that first part. See if you can work it out before I put them to the screen. You should get 9.6. Now we just go divided by 0.4 hit the equals and we should get the same answer we got before which was 24. Okay, this is our last example and let's go to this. We've got 16.1 plus 4.9 divided by 18 minus 3 with a, a funny looking symbol and a 5. So first thing we're going to do is guesstimate and we'll explain what that symbol is for your revision. So straight away we are going to guesstimate, so 16.1 we can round down to 16 and 4.9 we can actually round up to 5. So 16 plus 5 gives us 21. Now this symbol here actually represents times or multiply, so that's um, what that symbol re represents. So it's actually saying now 18 minus 3 times 5. So looking at that part there, if we say 18 minus 15 will give us 3. So before we're going to type this into our calculators, let's just guesstimate. We worked out the top line should be 21. We worked out the bottom line should be 3. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So let's now type this information to our calculator to make sure we get the 7. Again, if it's, I'm showing you here without brackets what actually happens. So we go 16.1 plus 4.9 divided by, sorry well that works out to be there, 21. Then we go divided by 18. So we can assume that the calculator is doing this at the moment, 21 divided by 18, which gives us 1.16. And then finally we go minus 3, which would give us then minus 1.83 times 5 equals. Now the calculator, the calculator doesn't actually do that. If you look at the information again that Adam has actually put there for you, you'll see how the calculator actually works it out without brackets. So it actually works out the multiplication part first before addition and subtraction. And that's what the bod mass actually means at the top there that Adam's put there for you. So bracket order, division, multiplication, addition or subtraction. Okay, now we'll put the brackets around it. And again, we should be getting an answer of 7. So let's start off, put our bracket there. We go 16.1 plus 4.9 close the bracket, hit divided by, bracket again, 18 minus 3 times 5, close the bracket, hit equals, and I'll just wait a, a moment while you get that into your calculator, and hopefully, if you've typed it in correctly, you should get the answer 7. Another way of working it out, if you're not too confident, and again there's no right or wrong here with the mathematics, you could work out the bottom line first, also known as the denominator. So let's work that out. So 18 minus 3 times 5, so let's type it into our calculator. Using the brackets we have 18 minus 3 times 5, close the bracket, and again looking at what Adam's put there with the bod mass, it should work out the 3 times 5 first. So we should have 18 minus 15, we should actually get the answer of 3. 
So we'll just close off here. We'll now put the answer 3 there. Now you might just want to go along and just put this 16.1 plus 4.9 divided by 3. So with your brackets, 16.1 plus 4.9, then divided by 3. Just give you a moment. Just try that on your calculator. And hopefully you get the answer of 7. If you don't use the brackets, what will happen on your calculator? So let's, let's just show you an example here. So let's remove those brackets. And this will explain what Adam's put there on the left-hand side. So we go 16.1 plus 4.9 divided by 3. And I'll just give you a moment to put it onto your calculator and see what answer you get. And hopefully you should get something like 17.733, which is way off what we're looking for. So what did the calculator do here in this instance? It works out that part that part first. So look at the bracket order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. We can see that division comes a bit before the addition. So the calculator will, work, will do that part first. So 4.9 divided by 3 equals, that gives you 1.633. So I'm just showing you what the calculator has actually done for you. So that's what we've worked out, or what the calculator has actually worked out. So we now go 16.1, which is 16.1 plus the 1.633. That's where we get our 17.733. So hopefully from this presentation here you can see why you need to use brackets on your calculator and you can see what Adam's put on the side there with the bod mass, that bracket order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. The calculator is only just working out how it's been designed to work it out. You're the person who's actually going to put the information in and program it correctly. Well, hopefully that's helped you out and if you've got any further questions, our information is at the front of this presentation and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next presentation when we talk about fractions. Okay, bye for now.